Hi and welcome to this segment where we are going to look at simultaneous equations. This is from chapter 9 of our resource book, Basic Engineering Mathematics by um, um, John Bad, the fourth edition. So in here, so far we have looked at uh, solving simple equations where we have been dealing with one unknown and one equation. For example, uh, 3x minus 1 equals to 5. This is one unknown. The unknown here is x. And indeed we have one equation. So here we were able to find the value of x uniquely. Okay? I.e. For example here, I suppose x is 2, if we solve that. Now, when an equation contains two unknown quantities, then it has infinite number of solutions. What do we mean? Let us assume that we have x plus y equals to 1. So we have one equation with two unknowns. We have x and y. So we can always express one unknown in terms of the other. For example, one could have written that, hey, let y equals to 1 minus x. So the values of y, which are, I mean, the values of, uh, yes, the values of y, we can have, if we, we cannot have a unique value of y here because there are, if many values of y here, depending on each any particular value of x we choose okay so whatever value of x we we plug in maybe when x is 1 then y is 0 when x is 2 we have negative 1 when x is negative 1 maybe we have 2 when x is 3 we have negative 2 and so on and so on so we cannot determine the value here uniquely okay likewise if we have more okay generally if we have more unknowns than the number of equations then we cannot determine the value of the unknowns uniquely we will be faced with a situation where we have infinitely many solutions okay however we can have two unknowns and two equations then this way we will be able to we have two unknowns and two equations then we can be able to determine the unknowns uniquely okay a situation where we solve for two unknowns with two equations at, uh, using two equations at the same time is known as a simultaneous equation okay and there are ways of solving simultaneous equations which we are going to look at here one we shall look at substitution then we shall look at elimination and then lastly we shall look at the solution to simultaneous equation using the graphical method so for now uh, we would like to start with a very simple problem here work the example and we shall use substitution here so we have an, uh, the first equation which is given as x plus 2y equals 1 and uh, 4x minus 3y equals to 18. So we can call this the first equation and this the second equation. So substitution, it simply means that you get one variable in terms of the other whichever is easier for you to do and then you substitute you get one variable in terms of the other and then you substitute the result in the next equation either you can express this variable in terms of this and then substitute in the first equation or you can express this variable in terms of this one here and substitute in the second equation or you can get this variable in terms of this variable and substitute in the second equation it doesn't matter it just depends on what is convenient for you so for that matter we shall just keep the idea using this basic example and extend it to others so for me i see that from equation one it is much easier to express x in terms of y by saying x equals to one minus two y 
and this is our equation 3 okay this is from equation 1 next I would like now to substitute mm, the value of x that is in equation 3 also we substitute 3 in equation 2 in other words uh, in equation 2 each time I see x we replace it with the value 1 I mean with the expression 1 minus 2y so that we now have 4 into x which is 1 minus 2y then minus 3y equals to 18 and then we proceed like we have already been doing this is 1 I mean 4 minus 8y minus 3y equals to 18 and then we get negative 11y okay equal to um, what is uh, 18 minus 4 is going to be 14 okay yes it is going to be 14 and then we proceed and find the value of y is it 14 okay I hope I haven't made any error anywhere let me just cross check I am found of making so many errors here I really don't like this this is 1 minus 2y this is 4 minus 8y then minus 3y equals to that and then yes this is 4 minus that so minus this and this is 11y then 18 minus 14 is that and then y equals to 14 over negative 11 okay yes okay yeah this is what i get for here so yeah so you can get this and then now substitute for the value of x to get the value of x you simply say x now from equation 3 here x equals to 1 minus 2 times y which is negative 14 over 11 and then you find the solution so this value of x <coughs> and this value of y will satisfy both these two equations so I want you to please note that I made the an error and that is why I was getting a little confused in the notes this is not just one but it is negative one okay so the solutions will be different however the answers I got for here are the ones which satisfy this equation which I had without the negative but please note that in the notes the problem one is written that sort I mean in this way so I had forgotten the negative but it doesn't matter all you need to know are the steps taken to derive the solutions here okay so see you in the next video when we learn about um, elimination methods